Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to talk about unsaturated hydrocarbons. Today's essential question, how are all alkenes and alkynes different from alkanes? All right, let's start with alkanes. Alkanes. An alkane is a hydrocarbon with single bonds. Examples include solid fats such as butter, lard, Crisco, and hydrogenated peanut butter. Okay, so these are fats that are solid at room temperature. Alkanes are also known as saturated hydrocarbons. And this is because they have the maximum number of hydrogen atoms. Alkenes Enes are hydrocarbons with at least one double bond. An example of these include liquid fats, fats that are liquid at room temperature, such as oils and margarine. Alkenes are also known as unsaturated hydrocarbons because they do not have the maximum number of hydrogens, so double bonds are necessary. Alkynes are hydrocarbons with at least one triple bond. They are also known as unsaturated because they do not have the maximum number of hydrogens making a triple bond necessary. So how do we name unsaturated hydrocarbons, meaning the alkenes and the alkynes? Remember that um, for the single bonds, the alkanes, we change, we um, use the prefix meth, eth, propute, and then the ending is ane. Okay, we're going to use the same prefixes for alkynes and alkenes. However, if it's an alkene, which is the ones with double bonds, we're going to use the ending ene. And if it's an alkyne, the ones with a triple bond, we're going to use the ending "-ine". Double or triple bonds have to be in the parent chain, even if it's not the longest. So previously, when we were talking about how to name alkanes, we looked for the longest chain, continuous chain of carbons, and identified that as the parent chain. For alkenes and alkynes, the double bond has to be in the ch parent chain. Okay, so this time, we're looking for the longest chain possible that includes the double or triple bond. When naming alkenes and alkynes, we also need to give the location of the double or triple bond by the lowest numbered carbon it is... It is attached to in the parent chain. Okay, so we need to, we have another number this time. We need to we need to locate the double or triple bond, and the number for the double or triple bond is written just before the parent chain name. Okay, let's try to to name an alkene and an alkyne. Okay. So let's follow the same basic steps as we do with the alke alkanes. We'll first count the number of carbons. We'll find the parent chain, and it's kind of obvious this time. There's, there's only one chain, right? So it'll be this guy right here. And the parent chain has three carbons, so the prefix is going to be prop. And it has a double bond. So its ending is going to be in for a double bond. Now we need to number the carbons. Um, this time, locating the carbon with the, the lowest number carbon with a double bond, um, which means this time we're going we're gonna to number right to left with this being carbon 1, carbon 2, and carbon 3. The double bond is connected to the carbon 1 and 2, and you write down the number of the lowest, the lowest number. So this guy is 1-propene. 
Okay, let's try one more. Step one is to find the parent chain. So going straight across, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons. We could also try this one here, giving us six carbons. So it looks like straight across is the longest. Um, with eight carbons, that gives us a prefix of oct. Because it has a double bond, its ending is going to be en, octene, for the parent chain. Next, we need to number the carbons in the parent chain. Um, if we number right to left, one, two, three, that puts our branch at three, four, five, and our double bond at five. If we number left to right, one, two, three, that puts our double bond at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and puts our branch at six. Because this is an alkene, we need to have the branch at the lowest possible number carbon, so we'll be numbering left to right. So we can identify where the, where the double bond is while we're here, and the double bond is between carbons 3 and 4. Using the lowest number, this will be 3 octene, with this 3 indicating the double bond. All right, and then we have got a branch here at carbon number 6. And this branch has only one carbon, which makes the prefix a meth. And it's a branch, so its ending is an ill on carbon number six. So now the final name of this structure is going to be 6 methyl dash three dash octene. There you go. All right, that's it for today. Have a good one.